What's really dangerous, but everyone treats it like it's safe? Compressed air. I get a lot of tourists in my area trying to casually summit the local 14,000-foot mountain in Sandals. Some weeks in the summer are absolutely nuts for SAR and the emergency room staff. ETA, SAR equals search and rescue. Stress. Household everyday cleaning chemicals. Revealing personal information about yourself on the internet. Long hair around pulleys and belts. There's a YouTube channel where two young ladies are working around a sawmill with long hair, and I can't count how many times people have begged them in the comments to tuck their hair up. They don't. Water on the road. You might be able to drive through it, but more often than not you shouldn't try to. Wild animals I was in Thailand when a 30-year-old got bitten by a monkey. Her complaint? No one had warned her not to pet the monkeys. Honest to God. The bison living in Yellowstone. Riding a horse is comparable with serious extreme sports, and head injuries are the most common. See kayaking. Simple, but you're in serious trouble if you flip around and can't get back in. Trampolines. Loneliness. The NHS, British Healthcare System, did a study like this, develop a statistical definition of loneliness a threshold of social connections, below which, yeah, the subject is pretty surely lonely. Examine the difference in death rate between people in the same demographic categories, who are lonely, as defined, or not lonely. Being lonely turns out to have about the same risk as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Having your Snapchat location on. Blunt kitchen knives. One might think, oh this is just a flat piece of steel, but cutting becomes tearing and crushing. The extra force this takes can easily send the knife off in an unintended direction in a swift and uncontrollable manner. Then you find out what a flat piece of steel can do to your fingers. Motorcycles, ATVs, really anything without a cage around it. Even if you wear a helmet, the brunt of the impact force goes on your spinal column. Sunburns would be treated much differently if they were called by their true name, radiation burns. Going to a bar, drinking, and driving home. It's so goddamn casual. Driving. NSAIDs, gastrotoxic, nephrotoxic, cardiotoxic, and acetaminophen aka paracetamol, hepatotoxic. People take too many of them too often. Going on the water without a life jacket. Childbirth for both mother and child. The springs in your garage door. Alcohol. Stairs. Texting and driving. Resin. It is toxic if not used with appropriate ventilation and equipment, including gloves and a mask, but everyone uses it for projects in their little apartment studios. Always stresses me out to see that. ATVs, even if you are going very slow, they can gently tip over sideways and crush you. At the hospital, anytime we see trauma, ATVs show up on the list, there is a good chance it's going to be a terrible injury. Childbirth and pregnancy. Escalators. <laughs>